The Muslim religion, as much as people in America want to make it, it's a very peaceful thing. You've heard Bill Maher say this before. What Bill says, most Muslims are not terrorists. But Mo Bill Maher also says most terrorists are Muslims. Muslims, right? Well, he's not. Well, let's break this down. Number one, if you're spending your days quoting Bill Maher, then you went very wrong somewhere in life. Number two, most Muslims are terrorists. <laughs> if... If your definition of terrorism is anything committed by a Muslim, then sure, based on that definition, all terrorists are Muslim. And all terrorism is done by Islam. And I do think we all lost a few IQ points by your foolishness. Number three, if we look at the facts and the definition of terrorism, and we look at all of them objectively, we realize this statement is complete and utter nonsense. For example, the definition of terrorism is the unlawful use of violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in pursuit of political aims. If we look at the United States and the West and the total death counts, including mostly civilians, as a result of the illegal wars in places like Iraq, Afghanistan, all in the name of freedom and democracy, all political aims. Or how about the drone strikes, specifically under the Obama administration? That alone, over 500 drone strikes, killing hundreds of civilians that we know of. In countries like Yemen, Pakistan, Somalia, countries they're not even at war with. And then not to mention the sanctions on countries like Iran, Iraq, Venezuela, Afghanistan. The massive death tolls that even US politicians have justified as necessary. A UN diplomat stated that because of these sanctions, four to five thousand children were dying on a monthly basis but none of these count eh and we're not even getting into the entire death count if you want to compare religions christianity versus islam versus secular regimes and what the total death count is i'm gonna give you a little clue islam does not rank the highest and now let's get to the muslim terrorists i'm not even going to talk about resistance fighters and the difference between resistance and terrorism I'm not even going to get into that terminology. Let's just assume he's right. They're all terrorists. The areas where we see groups classified as terrorists are the areas that the West invaded in the name of freedom and democracy, destabilized, armed various groups and militias, created power vacuums, and now we have terrorism in these areas. And of course, he's not even going to talk about the Hindutva terrorism against Muslims in India or the extremist Buddhists massacring the Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar or even China's oppression of the Uyghur Muslims and putting them in concentration camps in East Turkestan. So please, do some basic research before going on an ignorant, hateful rant that could result in increasing Islamophobia, anti-Muslim sentiment, and hate crimes.